a few days ago on a highway between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. latest occurrence of road rage in Israel. First he cut me off. Instinctively I honked and gave him the finger. He stopped suddenly, got out of his vehicle and approached my car. He asked me if I gave him the finger. I said, yes, did you see what you did? You cut me off. That's how it started. Bottom line, two flat tires and more fear than harm for this driver. Last week, Yuri Volkov was stabbed to death in front of his wife by a man on a scooter following an altercation on a pedestrian crossing in the city of Holon. A few weeks ago, a 50-year-old man was hospitalized in severe condition after being hit in the head with a helmet following a quarrel during rush hour on the Tel Aviv Expressway. An unprecedented wave of road rage, a reflection of Israeli society. The roads have become extremely violent because society is very violent and this violence spreads to our roads. Someone who is violent in society, in his private life, will also be violent on the road. Studies show that such an individual will also be more involved in road accidents. According to the vice president of Or Yarok, an NGO that aims to improve traffic safety in Israel, the only way to curb the problem is to increase police presence on the roads. According to a government decision, there should be 450 police cars on the roads, but today there are only 250. Drivers feel alone on the roads. They don't see the police. You can drive dozens of kilometers without seeing a single police car. Add to that the huge traffic jams, the parking problems. It's a powder keg. It's urgent. An emergency outlined by Israel's police commissioner, Kobi Shabtai. We are going to set up a think tank to deal with the scourge of violence on the roads, the purpose of which will be to see how we can provide an integrated response between the Israeli police and other bodies. And I hope that we will be able to provide more security for the residents on the streets. According to a survey conducted by Or Yarok last August, more than 48% of Israeli drivers have experienced violence on the roads in the past year.